Hey everybody, I'm out here in the pumpkin patch. You can see my pumpkin growing up the tree and everywhere. Hopefully, <clears throat> we will get a pumpkin long enough for me to show you later on. And I am doing a fall autumn candle review. <laughs> so, what am I doing? Blueberry maple pancakes. Oh, amazing grace, how sweet the sound. Taking y'all back to the 1950s black folks in church. That saved our key, just like them saints. A wretch like me, Ooh, this candle, my goodness. Ooh, if you had a cabin in the sky, I know you want some blueberry maple pancakes in that cabin. Ooh, yes. Thank you, Jesus. Okay, so if you have not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe. And, um, you know, hang around with me, leave a comment. If you have not gotten this candle and you have caught those reviews where some people are saying, eh, not so much, you know, we got blueberries here. Well, good for you. I got this blueberry candle right here, and these are my blueberries. I'm in Southern California. Blueberries are very expensive here, and blueberry is therefore elusive. All berries are expensive in Southern California. Blueberries are very elusive, and this smells like blueberry. Smells like blueberry pancakes, blueberry muffins, blueberry anything. Oh, blueberry scones. Can you hear me? It smells like blueberries. Now, up close, if I open up the lids, it smells like an artificial candy blueberries. But when you have the candle at an appropriate distance, it smells like blueberries. And I got this cute little topper here. I thought that just matched it so well. And look at that beautiful lid there. That lid just says 1950s. Like you're in some country person's house and they're making you some blueberry pancakes with some maple syrup or, you know, some watermelon syrup or some um, Cairo syrup. Oh, can you hear me? Some Cairo syrup. Oh my goodness. Yes, yes, yes. Or some sorghum syrup. Oh, yes, we got syrup in America. Country folk syrup. Um, if you're in Canada, you know, you can afford that maple syrup. But I, I use it too when I can. Good stuff. And um, I bet they probably got some good blueberries up in Canada too. But anyway, the notes on here, wild blueberry, griddle fresh pancakes, and warm maple syrup. You guys, this smells like blueberries with some maple syrup, maybe canned blueberries that long time ago me and my grandma we used to make um blueberry um, muffins from a box and we would make blueberry pancakes from it too and um it would come with a little box mix and then it would come with a little can of the blueberries and this smells just like we didn't have any money left for maple syrup but it was all right i was with my me ma my grandmommy oh yes oh my goodness and I got big teeth. I hope I, I'm, I hope I'm not flashing you with a whole lot of lip gloss on my teeth, but I love this lip gloss too. Any event, I adore this candle. This candle smells like fall to me. This is one of my fondest memories. But come on, let's just face it. As a child, anytime there's blueberry muffins, blueberry scones, blueberry pancakes, blueberry anything, even a blueberry smoothie, you know, blueberry blueberry shakes, blueberries on your um, frosted flakes, or maybe if you've got your Lucky Charms and you got the blueberry marshmallows on there. As a child, blueberry is a wonderful thing. And the child in me loves this candle. Mm -hmm. How about you? <laughs> I'm sorry, I don't know what happened. Maybe you got a little light flash there. Ooh, yes, I'm telling you. This is the way to do fall. I think Bath and Body Works comes out with blueberry scents for um, fall every year. This is, I'm told, the most authentic blueberry scent. I wish I could have got another one. If you saw my haul, my store sold out. We, the whole front of the store was empty. 
they was pulling out candles that nobody wanted and filling up the shelves with them because we bought all these candles out and um in our little store, they don't let them release the candles early. If you go to the other neighborhoods, the neighborhoods where more Caucasian people live, they will let them release candles a week earlier than they let them release the candles in my um, ghetto store. And that's just how it goes, you know. We're paying the same price, but we got to walk in and half our store is empty during a candle sale. But let me, I'm digressing, I'm, I'm digressing. But I know this candle's available, and I'm sure that they'll let them put a set out probably today because it's Monday, the day after the candle sale. They'll probably let them put out new candles today when they aren't on sale. How's that going to do me any good? You think I got $25 for this candle? No, I don't. I might have had 9 Maybe could have went up to 12 if you had some other merchandise in the store. But the store was half empty. Here I have gone off. I just heard something. That's probably Peter. I, I got a rabbit living back there occasionally he's living his best life eating alfalfa and clover and he's all right you know but he's like what's she doing here at this time of day it's it's the um evening if the sun will be setting in a few hours so i find i think this lighting is pretty good you guys anyway back to this maple candle i'm sorry this blueberry maple candle you need this candle if you get one autumn candle this year let it be the blueberry maple pancakes it's it's strong it's got a huge throw if i i haven't burned this candle i don't burn my candles I, I don't have enough you see how far off i got just in this video it would be dangerous for a person who is you know a little scattered like me to be running around setting up fires in southern california that's not a good idea but this candle does not require any fire. Y'all see those flashes? You know, that's Jesus saying, yes, yes, yes. This candle does not require any fire. I mean, if you want to chunk it up, but it's so beautiful. I, I can't, I couldn't destroy this candle. Look at that beautiful, beautiful blue color. Oh my goodness. But the throw on this, this candle fills my whole bottom floor. Like I have I don't really have an open concept, you know, that my house is too old for an open concept. But I do have a cathedral ceiling and a large rooms. And um, I have a little area where you go into the house kind of like makeshift, like I had one of those entry hallways or something like that. But it's, it's just a little, little area. But and then that's still open to the kitchen and also the den area. You know but don't let me confuse you into thinking I got an open concept open concepts came a, a few decades after my house was built but whatever it is this candle fills a den a, a, a den a kitchen and a living room and an entry room just by me opening it up and leaving it open for a few hours it's a beautiful thing it's a beautiful thing and if I got another one I could turn it for a warmer you know, I feel like I have enough concentration for a warmer. But, um, oh, yes. The throw on this is amazing. Amazing. How it smells like blueberries. Fresh, raw blueberries, not cooked blueberries. So there again, it doesn't smell like the blueberry muffins. But I, I, think, I, I think I've reviewed enough for you. If I left something out, just let me know. Um. I, I I don't burn my candles, but this candle is amazing, and I want another one, so I do hope that that is something that I find, like, you know, maybe they get another shipment of blueberry maple pancakes before another candle sale, something like that. In any event, <sighs> Jesus loves you, and I love you with all the Jesus in me, and um, be blessed, beautiful. Thank you. <laughs>